Hello cricket fans with IPL round the corner we have got something special for you In this particular video we are going to jump into a sports analytics use case especially in the field of cricket and see how AI is changing the game of cricket Can we predict who might win the 2024 IPL Yes we can Nowadays many predictive models has been incorporated into the game of cricket football and various other sports especially in the field of cricket we have win prediction we have runs prediction we have player analysis weather analysis and many more things ever thought of building your own machine learning model which will be able to do a prediction on a particular cricket match india versus england what if you can predict whether india is going to defeat england with 5 wickets in hand or what if mumbai indians is going to get defeated by chennai super kings in the last over of the match well all of these things are possible with this application that i'm going to talk about i am a huge chennai super kings fan which team are you supporting for let me know in the comment section and let's delve into this use case of building some machine learning model which will be able to predict the runs and predict who is going to win for example let's say mumbai indians and chennai super kings have a match and mumbai indians have scored 174 runs now chennai super kings is struggling at 29 for 3 at the end of 4.4 overs our machine learning model is going to predict whether chennai is going to win or mumbai is going to win and what will be the exact result outcome if you like this video please like share and subscribe the channel see you in the video Before we move ahead with the code demonstration part I would like to show you the application that has been created for this use case what is the business problem statement that we are solving this is basically a cricket analytics use case or you can say sports analytics use case in the space of cricket where we have created a win predictor now for example this is especially for IPL because the data set that has been used is IPL data starting from 2008 till 2023 now given a particular circumstance we will be able to predict whether a team is going to win or not let's say the batting team is uh, chennai super kings and chennai is playing against mumbai at chennai and the target is 174 currently chennai score is 49 with the loss of one wickets with 100 balls to go now if we click on predict we will be able to get the win percentage so you can see for this particular scenario chennai has a winning probability of 56% and mumbai has a winning probability of 44% now in the exact scenario let's say a wicket falls down and if you go ahead you can see immediately when a wicket falls down the winning probability of chennai has reduced from 56 to 43 let's say another wicket falls down with two two more balls faced now the win probability of chennai has gone down to 37% now this is particularly the use case that we are trying to solve now in order to solve this use case what we have done let's go ahead and discuss that so this particular use case is created by one of my teammates uh, his name is sandesh his profile will also be in the description below in case you want to get in touch with him on linkedin and uh, try to build some relationship with him so what we are what we have done here is i will try to do a whiteboarding because uh, it was little bit complex to solve this problem now there are two repositories from which the data has been taken two kaggle repositories now one of the repository had data from 2008 till 2022 okay now in this particular repositories there were two types of files you can say ball by ball transactions uh, ball by ball records and ipl matches now if you click on ball by ball you will see that every ball by ball records are being shown here the innings which innings which over ball number 1 who was the batter who was the bowler who was the non striker uh, batsman 
blah 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 so each and everything is mentioned here and in the second one which is the IPL matches data you will be able to see from 2008 till 2022 how many matches are played you know which season if you scroll down this particular data set has data from 2008 till 2022 which team against which team in which venue who was the toss winner so each and every information is provided here now we only had data till 2022 in order to replicate a machine learning model for 2024 we also needed 2023 data that's why we also took 2023 data from another repository so here also we had ball by ball data and play, uh, innings data matches data matches data we also got similar kind of data set ball by ball and matches data however this and this was not an exact replica in terms of the orientation of the data okay now this had the data here was in a different format than the 2008 to 2022 data so what we did was we tried to do some um, data cleaning activities in order to in order to formulate our classification data because ultimately this is a prediction data right we are predicting whether this team will win or not right so this is a classification use case so in order to build this use case we wanted a classification data right so we did some data cleaning activities here we did some data cleaning activities here and we kind of got a final data set data set one and data set two and then we merged this data set to get our final data set and this particular data set was used for our machine learning model building so this final data set is this one if you look at this data set this is how it looks like batting team bowling team which city the match was played runs left or balls left wickets remaining total runs these are all generated columns and the results whether it was a win or a loss results zero means win one means loss okay let's try to go through one of these um, files to understand on how the transformation was done okay so let me go to anaconda prompt so let me close this application So the first thing that I'm going to open is going to be for the 20, 2008 to 2022 data. We will also be opening this file which is 2023 data. So we will go through this. Each and every, I will not be able to go through each and every line of code because that will make this video very very lengthy. So we'll quickly go ahead. So this is our first data set this is our second data set then we kind of created a group by function on id and innings to get the total runs okay now you can see we have total runs per innings right every id has two records innings one and innings two we also created a total runs for innings equals to equals to one so this was my total runs then i merged my data my my this new data frame i merged with the second data set so basically from the first data set we calculated the total run and that particular column we merged it to the second data set which is my uh, ipl match data okay and going forward i also did a value counts on various teams we replaced some of the names because initially delhi capitals was called as delhi daredevils so we replace these names so this kind of data cleaning activities was done and then we created a list of teams that are currently available in 2024 because we don't care about teams who are not available right rising pune super giants not available kochi not available so we created a new list of existing teams and then we try to filter out those records from our data frames and then we took certain columns and then some data cleaning activities was done here we are doing the same thing for the second innings data same thing 
now here function to determine the bowling team so here we are taking each row if the row is batting team equals to equals to row of team we are returning the row so and then we are creating the new bowling team column and if you scroll down we are doing the same thing on the second innings data so lot of uh, a lot of data cleaning activities was done then we created so right now we are creating a data set which looks like this right uh, which basically contains different scenarios so let's say first match gujarat versus rajasthan when the balls left was uh, balls left are 131 who won gujarat won right uh, when the balls left was 120 who won gujarat won at 120 balls there were still 11 balls left and balls left were 114 sorry 114 and then the current run rate was 11 so the team had already won right so similarly different type of uh, you can see the same match when 114 balls are left there were 120 runs left right wickets were nine wickets in hand the total run target was 131 current run rate was 11 required run rate was 6.62 so gujarat won very easily the results are one so similarly this kind of data was created from ball by ball and the ipl match data right so so you can go through this particular uh, notebook to understand each and every data cleaning process it has been explained very well and then we kind of created our own data set for the 2028 till 2022 data we also created some of the metrics like current run rate and required run rate using some functions i hope everybody understands the concept of current run rate and required run rate and then we kind of formulated our final data set okay so csv 2008 to 2022 dot csv now this this was the generated file from this activity similarly we did the similar kind of thing for 2023 data and if you scroll down we also got another data set which is this one and then we merged these two where did we merge you can see here itself we have done a merge so i have my required data this one and then here we have created the model uh one second where did i merge the data yeah here here so here i am also reading the 2023 data and i am also writing it into data.csv so here is where the merge is happening one second where is the merge uh we have oh here 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 is the concatenation happening so uh we had this data set we had this data set and then so data is nothing but your 2023 data and required data is nothing but your current 28 till 2022 data and i'm doing a concatenation and i have my final data set and i'm storing it into data set dot csv okay i have also done some model building here but don't worry about it i have created another file especially for the model building part okay so so far we have the final data set which is data set dot csv now what we have done is we have created a model dot py file where i am reading the data set dot csv i am formulating the x and y data so imagine we have the final data from the final data we are dividing the data into x and y and then i am dividing the data into training set and testing set so training set and testing set and then i am doing a column transformer basically feature encoding i am calling the one hot encoder and i am running through a pipeline i am calling the pipeline dot fit and the predict function and i am storing this model in the pkl file okay so i have basically taken and created a model right 
and then I am saving the model because I am going to call this model from my app.py app.py right so model is saved this is what the model looks like 48 MB model and then if you jump into the final flask application this is where I am rendering my templates and then I have all these input request methods batting team bowling team blah 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 and then this is where I'm calling the PKL file and I'm calling the pipe dot predict proba because you are seeing a value right 56 percent win rate or 54.4 percent win rate so this is the predict underscore proba part and then I'm rounding it up to 100 percent that means 56.46 is going to be 56 percent right so this is the flask application part now if i go ahead and run this application let's say i will open another anaconda prompt and i'll run through the python app.py and then i will open my local host 500 my application is ready so this beautiful uh, layout has been created by one of my teammates um, again this this is a pure html css skill if you have uh, less experience on html css you can always take ahead your models and build a streamlit application. You can always use ChatGPT, send your code and ask how to convert this into a streamlit application. You will be able to get details. But anyways, we have this Flask application. This application will be given to you for practice in case you want, in case you want to build this. Um, I'll see if I can deploy this model. If you want me to deploy this model and make it publicly available, uh, to everybody let me know in the comment section and I'll, I'll probably do a deployment video in one of my future videos for now i will give access to this flask application freely just like share and subscribe the channel and i will be able to share the code with you so let's say we'll try it or try it out with kolkata versus delhi the mumbai is let's say kolkata the target is, is let's say 166 kolkata is right now 49 for 3 with uh, 69 balls left of course uh, let's say target is low 136 we'll predict and we'll see that kolkata has a win rate win percentage of 61 percent right so that's all about this beautiful application on sports analytics especially in the field of cricket in case you want me to work on more and more such applications around football and other sports or if you want specific use cases around cricket do let me know and please like share and subscribe the channel see you in the next video till then bye bye